Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Working on the old Blue Willie's gas tank again. So just more welding. Uh, just wanted to show you where we got to. Uh, yeah, it was a lot. I uh, struggled with this one part I'll show you. And then um, the battery in the welding helmet started freaking out. It's a rechargeable welding helmet. So um, when it gets low, it you know kind of starts flashing and stuff. So uh, and then just about out of purge, uh, shielding gas and all that. So I just took it as a sign that it was time to stop, but here's where I got to. So, um, last time we worked on the other side of the tank, um, this flipped it over and basically did all the welding, um, around these bottom seams, uh, down here, up here, over here, around here this stuff, all these verticals, um, all of that. So, um, not much left. Um, but this was the part I really struggled with, um, was this inside corner here. It's just super tight. Um, you know, trying to get your helmet and your head and filler wire and everything in there. So, um, yeah, that was the last thing I did. Um, and this was, this was warping a little bit. Um, so decided just to, uh, just to call it for the day. It was about two and a half hours of welding. So, um, yeah, but overall pretty happy. I need to do, so I've still got these rear seams, um, on both sides. And then this little tight inside corner, um, here, which is going to be, I think a fun one. I might have to like try and put this thing upright or something, but just a mini update. Whoa, whoa. Um, yeah, so progress is progress. Sometimes it's one step at a time. Sometimes you make big progress. Sometimes it feels like you make no progress, but uh, it's coming. So hopefully um, a couple more sessions on this tank, at least one in welding. Got to put the skid plate um, on the bottom also, which uh, shouldn't really be that bad. There might be some minor fitting with the bend angles and how everything moves, but get that on there. Um, and then it'll be ready for brackets and, and all that. And then a good test fit underneath the Jeep. And I have to drill the rear mounting holes, um, for the, for the rear where the skid plate mounts underneath the bumper, uh, mark those and drill those out. And then, uh, then it's ready for plumbing. So, um, yeah, that's my Friday. So thanks for following along. If you uh, have any questions, drop a comment below. And, uh, if you like this kind of stuff, well, as much today, but if you like what we're doing here with the old blue willies and all this crazy stuff in this very messy garage, give the channel a subscribe and a button and likes and bells and all kinds of things. All right. Thanks for following on guys. Have a great weekend. Bye.